Hello, my wonderful people. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, depending on your time zone or any time you are coming across this platform, Linda TV Show. If it is your first time and you like what we are doing here, after watching this video, kindly subscribe, put on your notification bell to all notification. In that way, you will be able to know when we upload a new video. I want to appreciate YouTube for creating this wonderful platform which we are using to disseminate information to the members of the public. At the same time, I want to put a disclaimer that here in Linda's TV show, I do not promote violence, I do not promote hate speech, I do not promote misleading information. Myself, I don't like it. We react to all forms of videos. So, I also want to remind YouTube that a call for self-determination is never a call for war. Here preaching concerning Biafra, we told you that there is no people, there is no body that is going to fight for Nigeria when Biafra is being declared. And we are going there now inside little analysis we are going coming to do now. Kinsley Washington, Kinsley Washington, thank you for joining. Then we go a little, and you know also that in this um, program, we are critical thinkers. We are critical thinkers. So this, is a, this program is made for critical thinkers, those who can who think critically inside them and they bring things out, those that can put one-on-one -on -one to be two. You understand? Those are the people we are we are calling upon to join this program now. Those who can put one on one to be two critical thinking program. Let us go there. West Africa, a coup center of the continent that has been reeling under violence, insurgency, and faces serious security concerns. To address these issues, on Sunday, the regional leaders met in Nigeria for the ECOWAS Summit. That's the regional bloc economic community of West African states. But leaders of three countries were missing from the annual meet. The junta chiefs of Niger, Mali and Burkina Faso. On the eve of the summit, these three nations announced their own alliance, calling it a confederation of Sahel states. With this, the military chiefs gave a clear signal that they have no intention to be a part of ECOWAS. In January this year, the military chiefs announced they were quitting the bloc, but there was no official meeting. On Saturday, these leaders held their first summit in Niger's capital, Niamey, coinciding with the ECOWAS leaders' summit. The formal approval of the treaty creating the Confederation Alliance of Sahel States will mark the culmination of our people's aspirations to seal a union of states sharing the same challenges and ambitions on the bedrock of a Sahelian space. Now Niger's military chief went on to say that the people of the country have irrevocably turned their backs on ECOWAS. The three nations now also seek greater cooperation across a wide range of sectors. ECOWAS res uh, has responded by saying that the move risks disintegration and worsening insecurity in West Africa. It says it will push junta leaders to reconsider their decision. Otherwise, it would impose further hardships on their citizens. We have convened this ordinary session to once again. So... Here we are coming, those of you that knows how we analyze our, our videos, those who know how we analyze our videos, if you are here, please make sure you hit the like button and invite others to join. Here you will see we are, we are Tinibu recognized that Mali, Burkina Faso, and um, Nigel supposed to be free from ECOWAS. You understand? And uh, the reason we are telling you Africa die and in the Afra Africa in the Afra Africa die and in the Afra Africa rise. Today there are movement all over Africa to liberate Africa from neocolonialism. Biafra So <laughs> are you are you getting it? If you are getting it, I want to be uh, pulling out your comments. 
I want I would like pulling up your comments. Are you getting it? When we started, we told you that Chukukika Biama is creating ways for Biafra. And uh, after this one, now we will go to the message which our our prime minister did in whole in a, in, a, in a, um, Germany. Then you will match everything together. Then every news, every update is in public. You will use your own memory and get the answer yourself. The reason Nigeria has been collapsed beyond measure. Some of us, some of us, and some of the calls we are getting now is that it's from people don't want to keep patient until December 2nd. They are telling PM go and declare this Biafra because Biafra is completely free. But the reason he is waiting, best known to him, because we are working under law. So for this reason, let us begin to make it beautiful. We continue to make it beautiful. Then um Chimbezie, Chimbezie, yes, thank you. Then Amauche, good evening from here, Amauche. How are you doing? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. I'm Uche. Then, in Biafra, Africa die. And in Biafra, Africa resurrect. But to remember, the people, those Tujis, they, they used during 1967, they cannot come and fight Biafra again. So, let's hear PM. Listen to everything he say in this place. That is the game. In Biafra, Africa die, and in Biafra, Africa will rise. Today, there are movements all over Africa to liberate Africa from neocolonialism. Biafra will not be exceptional. In 2011, Biafra became a charter member of the Organization of Imagining African State. And in December 2015, the Organization of the Imagining African State called on the Nigeria government to hold a referendum on Biafra self-determination within um, on Biafra self-determination. We called on the Nigeria government to hold a referendum on Biafra self-determination. African Union called on Nigerian government to give Biafra referendum. And the Nigeria refused to give them referendum. Are you understanding? Today, you remember when Mazen Nandekan, our leader, said when he went to, to, to Belgium to submit about Biafra, they told him when he is serious, they will know. And now Biafra has a prime minister. Every door has been opened. You understand now? As in, um, 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 the door has been opened. Now it is government in exile. Nigerian news confirmed that our prime minister has taken IPOB from nothing to something. We are showing you because every update is in the public. Nothing is hidden. Anything that is hidden depends if you are new in this struggle. Then it will be hidden to you. And if it is not hidden to you, there are things you may not know. Our eyes is on the rising sun, and so as it is circulating all over the world, seeing and checking, just like today you can see that a Trump have made his own speech, now security is tripled. So that is what we are talking. We are 555 vision, visualizing everywhere, anywhere we can see any spot, then we will identify it. Now, you are seeing everything that is happening. Let us begin to show you how Nigeria is being destroyed. We go here. Again, review the situation in our region. We are aware of the enormous challenges, including terrorist activities and violent extremism, threatening to spread from the region towards the coastal states, especially those that witnessed the constitutional changes of government. The decision of the three Sahelian countries of Burkina Faso, Mali, and Niger to withdraw from ECOWAS 
has also been noted and violent extremism threatening to spread from Shahe region towards the coastal states, especially those that witnessed the constitutional changes of government. The decision of the three Sahelian countries of Burkina Faso, Mali, and Niger to withdraw from ECOWAS has also been noted. Are you hearing it? This is Tinibu himself, eh? The decision Burkina Faso, Mali, and the Niger to withdraw from ECOWAS has been noticed. The same way he had taken note. That is why PM told him he lacked legitimacy. And uh, the Eastern governors that he renditioned the Mazen and the can lack the legitimacy to negotiate for his own freedom. Are you getting it? You remember here today, critical thinkers are the people we need in this place, those who can put one and one to be two. And if you are new, you can also pay very, very attention to what we are doing because consistency is the key. And as we are going on, we have custom. Uh, yeah, divine Precious, thank you for joining. Thank you, Divine. And uh, Martin, Martin Inze, God bless you. God bless Simon Eba and uh, our leader, Maze Namdekano. Then, are you getting it? You know, when things is happening, when anytime things is happening, you will check where it is hitting. Remember, we have it in the record. African Union has given go ahead for referendum, which our prime minister and the bridge is conducting. United Nations has also given their own. Then, our U.S. has also given their own. Now, we, we are telling you now, Tinibu is telling you here now that the departure of Mali, Burkina Faso, and uh, Niger is being noticed. We are taking, telling, taking you to a very long journey. Hmm. It don't happen. Okudi, okudi over. Tinibu don't die. Then, we are we are coming we will be combinating this thing so that everybody will know within 90 days including the option of the total independent as the republic of biafra a transitional phase of not more than 180 days my fellow biafrans it may surprise a lot of people to know that this actually happened nigeria are you <laughs> are you getting it you know Okwai bonko wa udu du mili. Oko che po. Ana anye yanko. Sometime we want to be serving the Afrans every day. But if our message is not complete. We will not come. Because we are coming here to keep some a, new, a message. That we go generation upon generation. When they hear how the Afra is being declared. You will be able to, to get it. How it is happening. That is what we are doing in this place. Nabubu, Emmanuel, thank you. Ndewomazi, thank you. Then, he had Tinibu, what he said concerning the people, the same way, Tinibu, you know that the African government have sued them to court, to African court. Till today, they have not answered that call. We continue. Now, ECOWAS is a 15-nation block in West Africa. It's headquartered in federal capital territory of Nigeria. It was formed in 1975 to promote region's economic interest. In the next few years, the bloc shifted focus to political stability in the continent, which it believed was a prerequisite for economic stability and growth. So it also took responsibility to ensure democracy and to fight security challenges. Though it gained success, ECOWAS's performance has weakened in recent years. The bloc has not been able to mitigate. ECOWAS, they are confirming in this place that the ECOWAS has been weakened since many years. That is why you see coup going on everywhere. And if you see what happened in Kenya, Kenya, they can do protest because they are speaking in one voice. 
protests cannot happen in Nigeria where you have tribal, pro tribal problem. That is why uh, protests cannot happen in Nigeria. Then the young youths, uh, the young youths in Africa already know exactly what is happening. Now, African people like Uganda, like, uh, like Kenya, like Burkina Faso, like Mali, like Chad, all of them are standing up because they, they speak in one voice. Only in Nigeria, you will not find people that speak in one voice. And that's why the only way to destroy Nigeria is the system of our leader, Mazen Nandekano, and the, our prime minister. The only system. Because uh, uh, at least uh, uh, NSAS teach a lot of Nigerians uh, anything they should know. If Nigeria can be one, it was NSAS that's supposed to do it, but NSAS didn't do it. Time has come when Mazen Nandekan even began to lead the answers, but it couldn't hold. He told them 90 days, 30 days. If you people, if the whole Nigeria can come out and stay on the street for 30 days, then the United Nations law have to revive and bring out a law that will change everything the masses is calling off. But they cannot because Nigeria is not speaking on one voice. That is why they channel everything. Then Wike begin to slaughter people in Obibu. He slaughtered more than 10,000 people in Obibu. Are you understanding? That is the reason protests cannot hold in Nigeria. But in another angle, Nigeria will be disintegrated. And here you are seeing it that the ECOWAS are not strong enough. And ECOWAS now need people to go on their own way. But Tinibu has already confirmed it and said, yes, since Burkina Faso, Mali, Chad cannot join uh, uh, OAU, they, they are free to go. Then who is then Tinibu to stop? Who is Tinibu to stop? What OAU already signed long time ago that they should authorize referendum for the Biafran people and let us hear it once again let's hear it once again let's hear it once again please all the code numbers we hear them uh, ignored it in 2016, the Organization for Imagining African State repeated the call for referendum as the sponsor of the All Biafran Conference of Accra, which took place in 2016. My fellow Biafrans, in October of 2020, the Organization of Imagining African State repeated its demand for referendum on Biafran self-determination to the government of Nigeria. All these calls were ruthlessly ignored by the Nigeria state. The Organization for Imagining African State, after deliberation, has endorsed the Biafra Republic government in exile self-referendum on Biafra for many, many reasons. And one of those reasons, or some of those reasons, are as follows. Nigeria refused to administer or permit a third party to conduct Biafra referendum. The organization also noted that the African Charter of Human and People's Rights guarantees the right to self-determination of everyone, including Biafra people. It is the right to self-determination of everyone, including Biafra people. Yes. Now, you, you have heard it. You have heard it. This is a legitimate news which uh, our prime minister digged out. And when we are here defending prime minister, we told you that he is under criminal investigative document. Also, remember the question he asked our leader Mazen Nandekano when they had the program together. He asked our leader Mazen Nandekano, the letter he wrote to United Nations. Our leader Mazen Nandekano then asked him, how come you get to see that letter he wrote to United Nations? He said, forget about it. He know. And from there, our leader Mazen Nandekano then understand whom he is. Before everything you are hearing, follow my Simon by listening to him and he is bringing a new dimension. Every other thing, we are bringing the news to you. Because it is good when something is happening 
you will know why that thing happened. Now we continue to, to go to Africa now. Now we go to Africa complete. And the, what they are doing here now is African summit. The way they must allow Burkina Faso, Mali, Chad to have their own way. Let us go there now. Coups in the region. Consecutive coups in Niger, Mali and Burkina Faso raised doubts over the bloc's goals. It has not been able to counter the surge of terrorism and insurgency in the region. It is also losing public support, with many West Africans seeing it as failing to represent their interests. The group has a history of military intervention in turmoil-hit areas, but sometimes it had been accused of mismatched timing. Now, while announcing their withdrawal from the bloc, Niger, Mali and Burkina Faso cited a few reasons. They accused ECOWAS of illegal, illegitimate, inhumane and irresponsible sanctions imposed on them after the coups. They highlighted ECOWAS' failure to assist I am not them here to give in their update. existential fight against terrorism and insecurity. The Juntas have also argued that ECOWAS has deviated from the founding principles of the organization and is now controlled by foreign powers. This statement comes as all three military governments have expelled troops of ex-colonial power France from their nations. They have turned instead towards what they call their sincere partners, Russia, Turkey and Iran. Niger, Mali and Burkina Faso have signed a security pact with Moscow and Russia instructors have been training the armies for their fight against terrorism. The U.S. is also in the process of removing all of its forces in the region. America withdrew its forces and equipment from a small military base in Niamey. Now fewer than 500 remaining troops will leave a critical drone base in Niger in August ahead of a September 15th deadline. For now, ECOWAS does not seem to have a clear strategy. In response to the action by three West African junta chiefs, Nigeria's President Bolo Tinubu, who has been re-elected as the bloc's chair, has reportedly called on Senegal's new leader to serve as a special envoy with Mali, Burkina Faso and Niger without providing any details. ECOWAS leaders say the move threatens the loss of millions of dollars of funding for the bloc. As well as hampering freedom of movement, it would also disrupt the work of the long-proposed regional force to tackle terrorism in the region. However, it looks certain that the three military leaders will not join hands with ECOWAS members for dealing with their crises. Now, for more on this, we are being joined by Freedom Onuwaha. He then, fellow dear friends, <laughs> we are inside the in-depth analysis, and uh, you know our PM said one time ago that he wish he can come back to to start doing broadcast to start his analysis again but obi in nigeria obi remains a boy but in biafra obi must to become a man are you understanding so pm doesn't have time again to be analyzing all this in-depth analysis and that's why he has the media team like us like 247 like his people in this in this in the space in the x space like a uh, Barawa. Uh, uh, um, Vam 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 and every other person that is doing something. That's why we are doing the way we can. He cried out the other day. He said he wish he can come back to analysis. And the, the one we can do is what we are trying to do. Are you understanding? So you take us as you see us. Here now, you, this man that you are seeing his face here now is an Igbo man. He is an Igbo man. And let us hear his name first. Let's hear his name. Envoy with Mali, Burkina Faso and Niger without providing any details. ECOWAS leaders say the move threatens the loss of millions of dollars of funding for the bloc. 
as well as hampering freedom of movement. It would also... Wait, to there's something we have to analyze here now. Remember, this, this, this topic today is for critical thinkers. ...towards what they call their sincere partner. You know, you know that uh, when Burkina Faso, Mali, Chad, removed themselves from ECOWAS under Tinibu, and uh, Britain has to instill Tinibu again to re-elect him to become the leader of ECOWAS. Now, Tinibu is trying to connect the, the new Senegal leader and the Senegal leader is also a Pan-Africanist who is trying to join the Niger, the Burkina Faso, Mali. Now, they are doing everything to bring out uh, uh, Senegal out of the interest of liberating themselves. So Tinibu is now running very close to the, to the small boy. That, and in Nigeria, you know, they don't have respect to young to youths, but in Niger, Tinibu can go there, Tinibu can go to, to Senegal and begin to embrace that guy. But the guy and his vice, they are Pan-African that is already in contact in a very strong deal with the Burkina Faso leader. Why is this thing interesting us? If you listen to what we played before, African countries are standing up to their rights so as to protect Biafra, because Biafra is the life of Africa. Remember, people, those people that fought against Biafra a long time ago, they, are not, they have already understand that he who fights against his brother to death is for the advantage of the enemy. Now they are freeing themselves to be free. Now, they are accusing Ecowas that the ECOWAS is not living up to date. They are not living up to their responsibility. Then we have to really, really recognize the people that is here. But we have really, really things to do. Then let us continue. Let us continue so that people who will copy it will copy it well. Now let us hear the name of the of the Igbo man for you to know the game they are playing. Let's hear the name of the Igbo man here. Yes. Russia, Turkey, and Iran. Niger, Mali, and Burkina Faso have signed a security yes, pact so, with yeah. Moscow, and Russian instructors have been training the armies for their fight against terrorism. The U.S. is also in the process of removing all of its forces in the region. America withdrew its forces and equipment from a small military base in Niamey. Now fewer than 500 remaining troops will leave a critical drone base in Niger in August, ahead of a September 15th deadline. For now, ECOWAS does not seem to have a clear strategy. In response to the action by FICO and Russian instructors have been training the armies for their fight against terrorism. The U.S. is also in the process of removing all of its forces in the region. America withdrew its forces and equipment from a small military base in Niamey. Now fewer than 500 remaining troops will leave a critical drone base in Niger in August, ahead of a September 15th deadline. For now, ECOWAS does not seem to have a clear strategy. For now, ECOWAS does not have a clear strategy. Aladema Gurundinze. For now, ECOWAS does not have a clear strategy. And who is the leader of ECOWAS? That is Tinibu. Are you understanding now? There is no clear strategy. And for this reason, every other person has to go. And the Tinibu already recognized in this place that the Burkina Faso, Mali, Chad, they are free to go because they have no strategy. Neither did they have strategy to rule Nigeria. Are you getting it? Not even to. That is the reason PM told them, listen, you people lack the legitimacy. You lack the ideology to negotiate for Mazen and or to Biafra because U.S. A, a, a African court itself already stand for Biafra to their early word, what they said before. Are you getting it? So we are going there. Are you, are you following? 
in response to the action by three West African junta chiefs. Nigeria's President Bolo Tinubu, who has been re-elected as the bloc's chair, has reportedly called on Senegal's new leader to serve as a special envoy with Mali, Burkina Faso and Niger without providing any details. ECOWAS leaders say the... Without providing any details. Tinibu went to Senegal. He went to meet the, the Senegal elected president. This guy you see here now. This guy now. Amy, sunny, sunny, I must say thanks to you. And for this, we have to recognize that the Rose of Ebu is here and the team where Mark MC is here. Uh, Mazi Mayor is also here. Ifan Energy is also here. Maxwell Mwa is also here. Grace Omobia is also here. Uh, Ogoro Sunday John is also here. Then uh, Nabonya Emmanuel is here. And um, Okuchuku Innocent is here. Celestial, I saw, I saw Urumwa before. Urumwa, you are highly welcome. Then uh, uh, we are marching forward. If you have not write your comment, write it here, please. Then we can know that you are here. Now I am special. Echo was we never have clear strategy because they for not think for themselves but take orders from those that plotted them from their advantage yes then ogotuku okafo thank you uh -huh. dr benjamin thank you ogoro sunday it is a, a is a president of nigeria yes corruption now divine pressures also it go Echo was is slowly going down. The era of weak, weak African leaders is over and is starting from the zoo president. One thing is that the zoo president now has been re-elected to become ECOWAS leader. And the international communities is telling you now that ECOWAS lack strategy. Are you understanding? You know, our message is clear 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 and clear ECOWAS international communities now say ECOWAS lack strategy if you cannot rule your own country the place you know nobody elected in able to become president to start with and how can he then become the leader of africa listen to it here let us search for it Tinibu envoy with Mali, Burkina Faso, and Niger without providing any details. Echo without Aziz providing say any the details. move threatens the loss of millions of dollars of funding for the bloc. As well as hampering freedom of movement, it would also disrupt the work of the long-proposed regional force to tackle terrorism in the region. However, it looks certain that the three military leaders will not join hands with ECOWAS members for dealing with their crises. Three military leaders will not join hand to deal with the ECOWAS crisis. Are you understanding now? Try to get what we are talking. Try to get what we are talking in this place, what we are discussing. This is the in-depth, in-depth analysis. Not only Nigerian news we are analyzing, we go inside Africa. When we go in South Africa, at least the immediate people Nigeria is trying to use. You remember that uh, Musa went to South Africa seeking for military support to come and fight against the Biafra. It is in the news. And our Prime Minister, His Excellency, told, told South African President that if you release your boys to come to Biafran land, Biafran militaries will dictate each and every one of them and deal with them personal, give them personal treatment. And the land of Biafra will become their burial ground. And here we have Chuku Onyeka. Thank you, Chuku Onyeka, for joining. Then we have King, uh, uh, Kinsley Isaac. Thank you for joining. Chuku Onyeka. Yes, Jafra Exodus, the Exodus movement we are into is, is high and the top notch. Nobody can challenge. You understand? Dr. Chima. Chima Sum Mighty.
Thank you. William, thank you. Hey, Flora Kubilo, I greet you, my big sister. Thank you. We are into in-depth analysis. Mazio Kechuku, thank you. Then, if you have not right, you are you are this thing here. Kinsel Azik, thank you. I'm um, thank you. Uh, Bere Peters, uh, Bere Mazi, thank you. Greetings from here, from land of land of the rising sun. Then we go, we go, we go a little. We go a little before we will. You know, here is where we are coming. We are coming in this place. We are coming in this place. This is area we are coming. You, 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 we don't have new update. You, you remember, we don't have new update, but there is something you are missing in this place. Well, then we continue from here. We go. Now, for more on this, we are being joined by Freedom Onuaha. He is a Freedom Onuaha. Freedom Onuaha. <laughs> Freedom Onuaha is the person they are going to interview now. Then let us hear him a little. Then we will play our PM. Remember, this program today is for critical thinkers, not anybody that doesn't follow the Afghan struggle from the beginning. And if you are new in this place, just pay attention. Then you will understand what is going on. A professor at the Department of Political Science at the University of Nigeria. The professor of the, the, the political science and the University of Nigeria, somebody that studied in Nigeria, you will hear what he said concerning ECOWAS and the whatever that is happening. And before we continue, please, if you have not hit the like button, try to do so. We need numbers in this place. Then, if you have not shared, please share. Those that have not subscribed, please do so. As a summer, I greet you. I greet you. BMO of USB, greeting, Maxwell, eh? Hancock, thank you. Some African eyes is opening. The, the eyes of African people are opening mightily. Just know it. And before we proceed, before we proceed, let us do something that the people will understand where we are going and where we are heading to. It is necessary you know where we are going and where we are heading to. It is going to be very different. I am not here to give update. <laughs> Every update we have is in the public. And I believe that if you have are here watching this program you may have been following the Biafra liberation live and direct now <laughs> let us put it very very well let's put it in a place that everybody will know what we are doing remember this message today is for critical thinkers this message today is for critical thinkers sometimes it takes all three days to organize one program that's why when we do it people will say man this is special listen i am not here to give update every update we have is in the public i am not here to give update every update we have is in the public and the sum of the strong headline is U.S. to back the Afra declaration in some month <laughs> to come. And the U.S. Justice of Department recognized the Afran referendum. Then, the Afran referendum, eh, African court, this is o -O -E -A -S, is behind Biafran referendum. Are you really getting it? That is why we don't have new updates. You understand now? So if you know why we don't have new update, this is the update here because everything is in the public. The dawn, I am here watching from Chicago. Yes, 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 yes. Eh? 
Let me special. His real name is supposed to be Slave uh, uh, Honor. Okay, we are coming there. We are coming there. They don't. Watching from Chicago. Uh -huh. Franklin Ihana Chong. Thank you for joining. Okay, Chuku. Then we want to read a little. Tinibu has no power to stop Biafra. Not at all. Not at all. You know that the reason we are bringing some uh, our our messages, some people never know that Biafra is gone. You understand that? That's why we are bringing all these messages that you will know. Emmanuel, and and more living long life, long live Biafra. Thank you. Now we don't have a new update. What we have is what you already know. Let us come there again. Let us come there again. Very different. I am not here to give update. <laughs> not at all. Every update we have is in the public. And I believe that if you have, are here watching this program, you may have been following the Biafra Liberation live and direct. My fellow Biafrans, as we approach the declaration which is to take place during our convention in Finland on the 2nd of December 2024, there are things that we must do. As we continue to protect our land, as the Biafra Defense Force increase the defense of our land, the defense of our women and our children, it is the most important thing for this government to protect the, the right, the properties, and of course, the life of our children in Biafra land. So, we are here. You know, Deputy, Deputy Minister of the other room. Huh. You are welcome. Then, uh, time good. You are welcome. Then we, we, we return to where we are. Suka, Austin is joining us live. Austin Oji, thank you. Thank you, Austin Oji, for writing your comment. This is what you have to use to remember to make a name for yourself that you are here when we deliver the message. Please let us now go back. You remember where we are. Remember, today is critical thinking analysis. Now, listen to Onoha, what he, he said here now, his analysis. Let us go there. Terrorism in the region. However, it looks certain that the three military leaders will not join hands with ECOWAS members for dealing with their crises. Now, for more on this, we are being joined by Freedom Onoha. He is a professor. Freedom Onoha, a professor hmm? at the Department of Political Science at the University of Nigeria in Suka. He is a professor at the University of Nigeria in Suka. Let's know. Joining us live from Nigeria. Thank you for being with us, Professor. A professor that studied in the zoo. Are you understanding now? And we are here to teach them a lesson because ECOWAS doesn't have strategy. You heard it in this place. This is international news. Now, Machi Best Channel. Greetings, my brother. I greet you, Machi. Then, happy you may, happy you may. Thank you for joining. Uh, Bere Peter, uh, Mazi, I greet you. Then, let us go there, please. Hit the like button, hit the like button so that the information can be generated to people. Then, you know, some our remember our PM cried out in public. He said he wished to be going to go back to analysis. But in Biafra land, Obi can become a man. In Nigeria, Obi is a boy every day. It's like Peter Obi, you know that Peter Obi, since he was born, he is a boy and he is still a boy. He never grew up. You understand? But in Biafra land, Obi will become a man and they get married. That is why our PM cannot come back to analysis and we are here doing the analysis. 
So if you appreciate what we are doing, we need your comment. Then Grace on over here. Exactly, my PM Simon Manjoko, the greeting. Now no now up no update. Yes, no update, no update, no new update. All update is here, and we are bringing it to you. Mazi Jerry Mobi. Eh, Mazi continue jumping over my name. Okay, yeah, yeah. Sorry if I have jumped. If I if I have jumped your name, sorry for that. You know, our duty here is to recommend recommend everybody. J James on Mwibo. Uh, Chimbezie, we re gradually moving to our new Jerusalem. That is it. Then we continue now. Let uh, uh, Clement, nah, let us go to, to our business now. Let's go to business. Let us hear on Freedom Honorable. Thank you for having me. Let's jump right in. The leaders of Burkina Faso, Mali, and Niger have started their own alliance. How does this new confederation of Sahel states affect the regional stability? Will this cause disintegration in the region? Yes, I think to a very large extent, we can really argue that ECOWAS since its information uh, in 1975 has never found itself at a juncture or a crossroad like this, because essentially uh, things are moving very fast meteoric speed in terms of the way and manner in which uh, the three uh, countries, that is Burkina Faso, Mali, and Niger, the military leaders, are moving fast to exit uh, from ECOWAS. And that in itself has a lot of implications uh, from the point of view of international law. Uh, asserted <coughs> that uh, Niger, Burkina Faso, Mali are moving very, very fast. Moving very, very fast to go away from ECOWAS. And do you know the reason they are going out of ECOWAS? Because ECOWAS has no strategy. Tinubu was installed as Nigerian president after he has been convicted in America. Then he has a stooge. He signed a stooge that he will fight against the Burkina Faso, Nigel and the, uh, the Mali. Then he signed that thing that he will fight them. Now, these people from Russia, they are maneuvered. They are maneuvered and they pulled themselves away. And today, they are creating their own new currency, which those side of Africa is going to use. That they don't have anything to do with the IOAU again, because OAU lack strategy. So, we are analyzing this thing the way we can. And... Uh, Joining it, joining it, joining it because we don't want to miss anything. We don't want to miss anything. We don't want to miss anything. Hear it. For us to achieve this <laughs> and make our place a better place for all of us, we must bear in mind that our blow to Nigeria state and to Nigeria terrorist state must continue to be deep. I mean, you understand now because nobody, only a tree, heard that is going to die and they remain at one place. Then, what did this man say in this place? He said they are working very, very fast to exit, they are working very, very fast. Listen to him like this because essentially. Uh, things are moving very fast, meteoric speed in terms of the way and manner in which uh, the three uh, countries, that is Burkina Faso, Mali, and Niger, the military leaders, are moving fast to exit uh, from ECOWAS. And that in itself has a lot of implications uh, from the point of view of international law, uh, a certain immediate termination of their membership of ECOWAS contravenes Article 91 of the ECOWAS uh, Revised Treaty, which uh, calls on member states wishing to exit uh, the group to give it uh, at least one year notice. And I'm, I'm sure uh, that these three countries, I'm talking about Burkina Faso, Mali, and Niger, was only in January this year that they informed ECOWAS that they're exiting. And I do not think ECOWAS took that threat serious until the summit, the joint summit they had 
uh, and to give it uh, at least one year notice. And I'm, I'm sure uh, that these three countries, I'm talking about Burkina Faso, Mali, and Niger, was only in January this year that they informed ECOWAS that they existing. And I do not think ECOWAS took that threat serious. On he did not think that the ECOWAS took that threat very serious. Are you are you getting what we are talking? You know, Nigeria, Nigerian government didn't know how mighty Biafra has grown. They didn't know how mighty Biafra has grown. God said he will blind them. And when he blind them, then the they, 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 they puppet, the puppy will grow and they grow wings. That uh, wild animals will cover the puppy, which is Mazen Nandekano. Ecowas didn't know that these people are serious. They already informed them. They already informed Ecowas. Niger, Burkina Faso, Mali already informed Ecowas that they are existing. Just like Biafra already informed Nigeria that they are existing, they still take it as a joke. Nandekano inform them that we are existing. They take it as a joke. They think it, this is what they can do under gunpoint. PM have it in the we have it in a, in, a, in a, what we are reading now is news line. This is not hearsay. That when PM told them, stop using force on us. Stop use, using force. This is not what you can do with the force. This is a question of dialogue. Go to United Nations and dialogue. Or give us a, a free referendum. Are you are you really getting what is happening? And let us go there again a little. We go there again a little. So because there is a way we teach our own teaching in this place. There is a way we do it. We repeat so it will sink. So that every other person that didn't know how we are fighting, we really know. Eh? Okay, Chuku innocent. My PM, I uh, agree you all. Then can they not here? Uh, Church Hill, okay, okay. God bless you, Martin. I greet you, divine. The speed is too much. All thanks to our leader, Mazen Nandekan, and our PM. The speed people are running very, very speedy to, to, yeah, to go away because only a tree head that is going to die and they remain at one place. Listen to him, listen to him again. Echo was contravenes. Article 91 of the ECOWAS uh, Revised Treaty, which uh, calls on member states wishing to exit uh, the group to give it uh, at least one year notice. And I'm, I'm sure uh, that these three countries, I'm talking about Burkina Faso, Mali, and Niger, was only in January this year that they informed ECOWAS that they're exiting. And I do not think ECOWAS took that threat serious until the summit, the joint summit they had. Uh, on the 6th of this month, wherein they have made it clear and irrevocably that they are existing uh, the ECOWAS. And that has a lot of implications uh, from the point of view of international law. First, Are you hearing him? Do you hear him very, very well? They informed them. They, they, they thought that this is like a buying uh, um, SUV. This is not buying SUV. They are talking, this is treating about people's life. And they also, they also try to ignore this kind of one. You listen. In our liberation going forward, as we approach December, November, December, must continue to be deep blow on the Nigerian terrorist state until our declaration and beyond. Nigeria has dealt with us for many years. They have, we have seen ethnic cleansing of our people. We have seen attempted annihilation of Biafra people, including changing in demography, distorting our map without any consent from the indigenous people of Biafra. You remember, we teach in this place, a picture speaks more than a thousand words. And if you look inside this place very, very well, if you watch this picture very, very well, you will see Trump shooting. And uh, do not forget that uh, Biafran Bridge, the Biafran government, is number one, number one in Trump campaign list. Are you understanding? And uh, 
the Biafra will be declared 2nd December this year. You understand now? And we are not going there more. Then, Echo was the thought that um, it is a joke. And here now, all these things we are doing, it is now they started to understand that the Biafra is not joking. They thought that to buy up DOS is the thing they can do because Gowon gave them an ideology. Gowon said, if he knew that eh, all those Igbo, Igbo, Fulani blood can take money, he wouldn't have fight the Afghan war. He will buy them with the money. That is why you see DOS succumb to the call of a uh, command and control. You understand? But ECOWAS here now is telling you Pastor, I don't that think they took them on our way. To any aggressive approach. They took them on our way. So we are analyzing this thing deep, deep, deep. Remember, this program today is for is for critical thinkers. Join those who have the ability to join one to be two. You understand? In marriage, one plus one is only one. But to those who knows why it will be two, that is the people that is here. Children, very Christian. Thank God I joined I join you today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for joining live. Now, if you have not turned on the notification button, turn it on so you can be able to know when we are live. Try to get exactly what is happening in this place now. Then we, 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 we have to be putting it where it's supposed to be. Now, let us hear the analysis. Thank you so much, my wonderful viewers, for watching this video together with me from the beginning to the end. Like I said before, if you like what you see here, if you like what I do in this platform, as you have finished watching this video, please hit that red button that says subscribe and put on your notification bell to all notifications. In that way, you'll be able to know when I upload a new video. Share my videos, leave your comments in the comment section constructively. Until I meet your way again in my next video, I still remain your Linda's TV show. Bye-bye.